Today, everyone is finally playing as Steve from Minecraft and Smash Brothers, but what about that other Microsoft rap? Master Chief! What's happening, my block buddies, and welcome to a brand new episode of Blocked Content's Leak Speak. My name is Callum, and this is going to be your content for today. The most famous first-person shooter, Spartan armor-clad fighter is Master Chief, and I'm really excited to see if that character will actually come to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. It's one of those things that almost seems too good to be true, right? It's one of those characters that is so prolific, that is such a household name, and it actually perfectly represents everything that Microsoft and Xbox is about, right? These imaginative worlds, but also a little bit adult, right? And of course, aimed at multiplayer gamers. I totally love the idea of having that character in Smash Bros. Ultimate, but of course, there's a little wrench in there, and that's actually called Steve, right? Steve from Minecraft has has just joined Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I got to play a little bit with Steve and been having a bit of fun with the character. I think it's really interesting what Steve can do and the crazy combos and the power that Steve has. So really curious if you guys have any specifics that you wanna see from block content, like playthroughs or live streams or play against me, stuff like that. But yes, Steve is throwing a little bit of a wrench or a pickaxe into that Master Chief theory because now we have two reps from Microsoft, of course, Banjo and Kazooie, and now Steve. So. Does it even make sense anymore to think about a character like Master Chief, who would also be a Microsoft rep, you know, a main Microsoft rep, would it even make sense to have that character in there if we already have two of those big Microsoft reps, right? It almost seems like a little bit too much. So I am generally just going to look at all the evidence for Master Chief, the ideas that people have about the character, and if it could actually disconfirm people if they are basically mentioned in leaks, but if two other companies are already in the game, right? If we already have two characters from the same company represented. So that's all I'm gonna talk about today. It's gonna be a really fun episode and I've of course been answering many of you guys' questions about Smash Ultimate and new fighters in our show, Question Blocked, where I answer your questions. What do I think of your favorite game? How do you start making YouTube content? Well, whatever you can think of, send your question through to blockedcontentmail at gmail.com and I will answer your question live on the show in our next Question Blocked episode. And it's almost that time for a brand new block talk. We are doing the Wind Waker HD. Me and my buddy Corey are playing through that game and we're also in talks to do another maybe Smash related game. So please comment down below what you wanna see from block talk and we might go through it. Okay guys, let's head into the main topic of today and that is talking about Master Chief potentially coming to Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Right, the partnership between Microsoft and Nintendo here with Smash Brothers Ultimate seems to be at an all-time high, right? Steve is a perfect fit for Smash Brothers, even though it feels very out of place when you first play as the character and play in the stage, right? It almost feels like it really doesn't belong, but then you get to play and then you get to really feel how well synergized everything is. In terms of the Microsoft of it all, I think Banjo and Kazooie kind of made sense, right? It's a fan requested character. And of course, Banjo and Kazooie were on the Nintendo 64 way before they were ever on a Microsoft soft platform. Now, what would make sense to me is that they view it in these little boxes, right? To not say blocks, right? I mean, Banjo and Kazooie are different types of Microsoft reps. They are owned by Microsoft right now, but they started out being Nintendo characters, right? Rare characters, sort of third party, a little bit like that. Now, Steve, of course, Mojang, My Minecraft, it also doesn't really feel like a main first party Microsoft game or representative, right? So what is really missing in that formula to me is a character like Master Chief who actually represents a console like the Xbox and a company like Microsoft, right? He is the perfect poster boy for actually that whole generation that grew up playing Halo, Halo 2 and 3. And I think that if you look at him in terms of moveset potential, it's also a character that can bring a whole lot of new to the table. And I think if we look at all the newcomers in Smash Ultimate, Sakurai has always made a big point of actually bringing in something brand new. I mean, just look at what Steve is bringing to the table with his crafting ability and then mining, and of course also placing blocks, which is totally new and changing the game at all times. 
Now, other characters are doing this as well, Banjo and Kazooie to a little bit of a lesser extent, but think about Hero with all those drop-down menus and that sort of stuff. If we are looking at Master Chief through a similar kind of lens, we could definitely see a lot of possibilities for that character, like picking up weapons that are on the stage, or maybe even dual wielding weapons, swapping out stuff, and of course, piloting different things, or even driving the Warthog across the stage. Now, there are so many possibilities possibilities with this character that a lot of people have been wondering, does this even fit with Smash Brothers, right? I mean, isn't that a little bit too adult? Well, now we have Joker that uses guns in Smash Brothers Ultimate, which I think is also very interesting. Bayonetta is kind of similar, even though that's a little bit more fantastical. But for Master Chief, I think they do a really good job at not focusing on all the UNSC weapons, so all the human weapons, but maybe all the Covenant stuff, right? And maybe some Promethean stuff, but I think generally you'd want to see the Needler weapon, right? Or you want to see a plasma rifle or stuff you know, that's even a bit more heavy, like the Spartan laser. It would totally make sense to have these more fantastical items actually become a part of Master Chief's moveset. And of course, the Spartan abilities are also something that a lot of gamers have said, this totally makes sense for Smash Brothers Ultimate, right? The bubble shield, using a jetpack could be an up B or something like that, and even slamming down feels like the perfect down B in the air, or maybe even just the down air aerial attack. So yeah, Master Chief, in all intents and purposes really fits within the Smash Brothers tone. So the question that we all have to answer right now is, is there actually a place for Master Chief now that we have Steve? Of course, it's been very long rumored that because the, we didn't really have any answer for that, you know, are they choosing Minecraft over Master Chief? Well, now we actually have the answer if it's one of the two, but is there place for another character? I'd say that if Master Chief gets to be in Smash Ultimate, he would just barely make it, and he'd probably be the, you know, second to last character or the final character that we get in the game. I mean, it's just a little bit too much to announce another Microsoft rep as the next character. That wouldn't really make all that much sense. It would be a little bit too quick, and I just don't know if Sakurai really wants to go for something like that. But I am generally curious if you guys have any specific thoughts on Master Chief joining Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Of course, having Steve playable in the game right now is already surreal and makes you think anything can happen in this game, especially someone like Master Chief, who is just, you know, transparently a very good base for a Smash fighter, right? It totally makes sense. And also, we have to keep in mind that Doom Slayer is, you know, at least physically very similar to that character. So if they're gonna choose, are they gonna choose for a character that reinvented the first person shooter genre, or are we gonna choose for a character that essentially just created the first person shooter genre? So of course, I would love to hear what you guys think of this. If you comment down below, that can actually be featured and read out loud in our next video. And today's comment question is, do you want Master Chief in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate? And as for a previous comment question winner, our answer comes to us from Jake Ippolito saying, Sora is still coming. The Disney Japan shut Sora down thing has been proven speculation. Sora would cause uproar and would be amazing, plus he has a ton of potential. So far, Sora has not been legitimately deconfirmed by anyone. The fact that people claim that he has been deconfirmed just shows how uninteresting that they actually are. Sora has a shot, and if he comes, he will be big. Also, if Steve is the second fighter and they plan for there to be no more DLC, then who else could finish off with a bang? The debate around Sora would make him a perfect Nintendo actually did it kind of fighter to end off the final round of DLC, which is food for thought. Well, Jake, thank you so much for sending in your comment. I totally agree. I think that that character would be very interesting for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and not just because the character is very special, because a lot of people really love Kingdom Hearts, but also because that character and moveset potential is just crazy. I mean, he can really juggle characters. He has all sorts of magic, and the combination with, of course, the Magic Kingdom, right, with, with Disney is just too good to pass up the opportunity. It's just crazy. So, yeah, I would totally say Sora needs to be in and let's save him for that big final reveal. A Nintendo actually did it thing. I totally love that. Now, thank you guys so much for sending in all your comments. These are always so much fun to read through. And of course, a huge shout out to the latest Patreon supporters that always sent their love. Thank you so much. You guys make this channel possible. So every time I get to sit down and create one of these 
these videos for you guys, I thank our Patreon. So, I mean, please just go to patreon.com slash block content if you want to support the channel. That's the best way to do it. And remember, if you're not yet a member of the block content family yet, hit subscribe now. Smash that like button and ring the bell for notifications and all the news and fun you care about will be delivered on the daily to you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you around the corner where there's always more blocked content. See ya!